today we're gonna make some cloths. So we're gonna take paper. It's not paper. It's um our we like we just take away three three centimeters. Um, first what we do is we fold the paper into a triangle. like like that and then we fold it into a house shape looking then we make a triangle here then we make a triangle here then we pull it to the top but do not go over this, just in the line, go over it, like that, and then what you do, fold it into a triangle, so many triangles in this origami, isn't it, open it, take this, fold it, into another triangle. This triangle's name is the isosceles triangle. So this is a scalene triangle. Then what we do is we're gonna like fold this into a triangle. Then like it looks like we're rolling up, rolling it and rolling it like that. No, sorry, sorry. We're gonna like. Turn it and roll it and top of it, roll it and roll it. Okay, then do the same thing. Open it and roll it. Then roll it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Um, so we're gonna roll it like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Roll it. And we're going to roll that one more. I am. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna put that properly. That didn't come out. This part did not come good. Okay, understand. You can fold it to the top, isn't it? There we go, that's the mistake. Now it's coming this side. So fold it there. like burritos like just roll it roll it roll it now it looks like cloth but you can't insert it so what you do is there'll be like a hole right over there you just make a hole there like like that then you have this like it's like a pocket so you can insert it into then what you do is there will be another pocket in here where you open it and you have your claw here surprisingly and magically we have we have 10 fingers isn't it we have nine more clothes to fit in.
are doing this all by yourself. Okay, that's gonna be hot.